Uh, first of all, let's introduce yourself. Hey, um, my name is Sonny Vu. Smokey, right here. Mm hmm. Awesome, man. Well, let's start from the beginning. Where are you from, Minnesota? I'm from Minnesota, St. Paul, um, East Side. Um, let's just start from the beginning, y'all. <laughs> when did you first find out about this movie? From my cousin. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. He told you about well, it? Well, my or? cousin, he's like 30 some years old. He's a computer geek. Mm -hmm. um, he called me out of the blue. He was like, hey, dude. You should uh, try out for this mom movie. They're doing it. You could probably get the good one part. So I went over to my cousin's house, right? And then uh, we were surfing the net, and then uh, he brought us up to the page. And, so, and I was looking at all the characters, and I was like, guess what? I bet you I could be smoky. All right? Right, right. On Friday, because the audition don't start till Saturday, I went on Friday, got a private audition. So you found out about it right before the audition? Right. Like okay. Thursday night. Okay. Yeah, and then Friday I was cruising around, so I was like, fuck it. so we could hear with the mic. Oh. Yeah. So it was it was like Friday and I was cruising around I'm like fuck it, I pulled into the mom partnership. Right. I went in there asked the, uh, the um the lady at the front counter, and then uh, everybody the um casting people was behind me um what's her name Amelia yeah, and everything. Amelia. Yep, they was there and then they was like hey you want to do it if you really want to do it come on. I, I wrote my information down I went upstairs I I was kind of funny at first but then. Uh, Afterwards, I got it. <laughs> so you did, yeah. you did one take, one run in with the audition, just one audition. Just one audition. Right. And then they, they called me back on uh, on Sunday to go back, and then I went back on Sunday. Oh no shit. Yeah, and then there was some fine ass chicks there too. But yo, um, <laughs> I, I went in there, I did my business, and uh, I got it. Well, how long ago before you actually knew you got it? Like, how long ago was it until you heard from them after the audition? How long um, after? Yeah. About three weeks. Two three weeks. weeks. Two three weeks. Did they tell you got it right away, or well, they they talk they called me one time for the second audition, right? And after that, they called me another time, and then uh, they was talking about they got some dudes from Detroit and uh, other from everywhere else. Um, I might not be smoky, but I'll be uh, gangster one or two, right? And then I was like, nah. Amelia called me, and I was like, nah. I want to be smoky, right? 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 And then I got it. No shit. So then <laughs> you got it. How long? When did they actually let you know you got it? Uh, after uh, after Fourth of July weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that was like one week before shooting then. Yeah. No shit. And then they emailed me my flight plan and hopped on the plane. I'm out. <laughs> no shit. I'm here. So you came here. You came here. Uh, what was it? Last well, two weeks ago. You were here right. for your first shoot. Right. You just got back today. Right. Or yesterday. Yesterday. You just got back yesterday. Today. So today's your or your second, second day. Yeah. Second day of shooting. So like you're smoky man. You're like the leading <laughs> bad guy. You're like the leading Yo. bad guy in the film. I mean. You feel like a lot of pressure on you? I mean, how does it feel? I mean, you don't have no acting experience. Right, right. right. Well, at first, when I first got here, that was the hardest part for me, you know? Right. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, I was hella scared of this, right. the camera. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but now I'm cool, you know? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm good with it and shit like that. It don't bother me no more. So it's just a matter of getting comfortable with it. Right, right. right. So Clint Eastwood, man, everybody wants to know, it's like, dude, this is a uh, award-winning director. He's a legend. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, and this is like the first time a film of this size has been done for the Mon community. I mean, how do you feel about like working with Clint Eastwood? How does how's it been? Ramon. Ramon. Well, for me. I mean, how is it working with Clint Eastwood? Let the other, let the people know. People want well, to honest truth. I honest show, I did not know who Clint Eastwood was. Yeah, right. And then I went down to Blockbuster. I saw a couple of his pictures. This is after you found out about Right, that I got the part. And oh, then, for real? Yeah. And I went down to Blockbuster. <laughs> I looked at a couple of his movies. I didn't I didn't um rent him, but I just looked at it and tried to see his face and shit like that. But um working with him is great. He's hella laid back. Right. We laying back, we chilling right now. You right, know, right. Um, and it's fun, it's great. That's I cool. love it. That's good. You know? <laughs> All right, man, let's keep it at that. We'll get back to you later. <laughs> Yo. Um, this is Ramon. Ramon Camacho. Hey, so what's up, Ramon? Hey, what's going on? Tell us, uh, who do you play in this film? Uh, I think I'm called Latino number three. Latino number three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should see this guy on set, man. This guy is convincing. He's the scariest motherfucker there, dude. Oh, thanks. You're tell us, man. Tell us about uh, today's shoot. How'd it go? Today's shoot was uh, pretty quick, pretty fun. Clint uh, moves fast, you know. I, uh, I wasn't able to really... Uh, you know, I wanted to take it a few other times, but why? Who you know, it wanted to t take move on. You know, oh, right, that's cool yeah. with me. That's what he is. Yeah. Cool, cool. So you're from uh, California? Mm -hmm. California? Yeah. You, uh, you, you have some acting experience, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been acting for like ten years. Tell us what you, uh, where we can see you. Uh, well, Cold Case a long time ago, like upcoming or just like whatever. What you've done? 
uh, a lot of independent film, uh, cold case, uh, independent film, drug addicts, drug addicts, uh, and rehab. It's gotta be the eyes. It's the eyes. It's always the eyes, man. It's always the eyes. What's going on? What a party at? Where you coming back from? Ah, uh, I was whacking off in my room. Look, don't don't tell the camera that. <laughs> You guys have, uh, you guys have <laughs> My hands are a little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> $55 for all the beer, so if you can pitch in five or ten bucks, that'd be really good. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, well, we want to tell us about the whole mother ass thing. Oh, you didn't hear it. I did. I was there. Oh, okay. yeah. Mother yeah. ass, mother well, ass. Yeah. Well, no, I had the gun out, and we're, we're going away, and I'm like, you know, well, fuck you, fuck you, all this stuff. And, and all of a sudden, I hear, I hear like this duo comes up and goes, mother ass, mother ass. <laughs> Mother ass! He never did that and I'm like, did, did he did he did he just say mother ass? <laughs> and yo, dude, that first scene, yes. no, the yes. first take when all you guys got out the car, man, how the fuck did that come about? Cause that's not even in the scene. Dude, no, it's not even in the script. Dude, dude, man, fuck, okay. fuck, fuck, fuck that mother ass. Was, it, it, it's already a trend. People was gonna yo, fucking think, start using mother ass. I think uh, what happened was what was happened? uh, and I fucking I it. Wait, let's hear from their perspective, cause you guys told us. I think it was sort of, I think it was sort of my fault uh, down that, because what happened was we were confronting each other, and the thing is, they were like maybe. A foot away from us, right? Right, right. And so I, I, I didn't open the door. I got out of. I, I went out the window like this, ha! Ah, and I started hitting. The, I started hitting their car. I hit the mirror, like hit their mirror like that. And then that's when someone opened their door. Someone got out, and all of a sudden, when, not, the dude in front, right? He had the access to the door, so he opened the door, and he got out. And I was, I was about to get out, and then he shut the door on me. <laughs> and so there I was. I was. I, was I, I got. I was stuck out there like a fucking dick on a land, branch. You know what I mean? A dick on a branch is like, poof, I got hit by fucking this guy. I'm like, oh, I got caught. I'm like, boom! I got caught. Yeah, no, but you guys actually got fit. The funny thing is, I forgot who told me, but Clint, like, you told me yeah, the, fa the face on, 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 on like the look of Clint's face. I saw Clint, it's like, stop it, stop it. Yeah, he was like, stop, stop. Everybody's like, cut, cut, cut. I turned around laughing, yeah, like, look pretty hey, convincing. Look like hey, you guys are going to go at it. Yeah, we were going. We kind of thought out fighting, too. That was hot. Uh, I just kept walking. Yeah. The funny thing is, they caught all that shit on camera. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They might use that shit and come back and be like, up the bumper, like, hey, hey town! Yeah. Let's talk about your other part. The, the, the you, scene goes, they're beating each other up. I mean, I, I guess, you know, you didn't get much, you don't get much driving experience. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are very accustomed to the subways, but there's this one part where you just simply supposed to just Almost back up. Me over. <laughs> 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 I, I, went, I went out of the curb twice. If you just want to throw me like five bucks, five bucks. I went out of the curb twice. <laughs> One of the the last shot we did, I almost ran out over. <laughs> but you know they liked it actually. I know they did. Because you came out the car. And yeah, 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 yeah. It was it, it was it was all it was off good. the hook, man. It was Improv. off the hook. I know. Perf Yo. He came up and he's like, "That was pretty dope." Y'all, 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 y'all keep going. That was good. Clint, yeah, Clint, Clint really like it. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like, Clint, Clint, really, Clint really likes that. Dope shit. cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> good shit, American <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, so it was good. Cool. Tomorrow, bring some more new shit to me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about why you said mother ass. <laughs> In New York City, <laughs> where I live in the Bronx, we, we we love our mothers, and our mothers have some really nice ass. So we say mother ass because we know a lot of Mexican women. They some them may smell, but most of them, <laughs> most of them, <laughs> most of them have some really nice ass. So you know, mother ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, regulate on that shit, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> tomorrow, don't Friday run into person. my house. And, yeah, cause you probably might run. What's into tomorrow my scenes? House. Um, the house, and then everything else is all walls. Yeah, yeah. The house. Oh, you guys come out. No, you guys don't these, fuck with. These, no, these um, guys come and try and take towel. Yeah, oh, we try to take towel. Yeah, and then after that, the scene. Tomorrow's the scene of the 